Hi! Welcome to my channel, Psychic Kathleen. My name is Kathleen. Today I'll be continuing along with my vlog series, working with a client and um, doing a series of uh, layouts, pulling cards in answer to clients' questions, concerns. Um, this, uh, my appointments that I use for vlogging, I should have mentioned earlier, are one hour. And so over an hour, typically, we have an opportunity to address a number of different concerns or to go into a reading or an issue in much more depth. When clients are coming to see me in person for a reading, it is a minimum of an hour. Um, I don't see clients in person for less than an hour. Um, I will do a phone reading for as little as half an hour or 45 minutes or an hour or an hour and a half. But to come and see me in person is a minimum of an hour. So during that hour, we often do have an opportunity to look at health, relationships, career, often many aspects of a client's life, not just one. And the client that came to see me recently, she did have a number of issues on her mind. Um, the central one was her career. <clears throat> she is a professional and had um, left a professional job in the government to pursue nursing. That was one option. Another option she was considering was medicine, um, going on to be a doctor. So she wasn't accepted to any medical school in Canada. She was accepted to um, a nursing school and had started nursing. Now she enjoyed the studies, but she didn't like the practicum. And so working in a hospital was not something she could ever imagine herself or see herself doing. Uh, shift work was a problem. She's married with one child. Um, but it was really the toxic environment that she felt she, she'd never survive. And she had some health concerns as well, which were rearing their head um, as, as she, you know, was a, a practice nurse. So <clears throat> should she continue with nursing, had come up the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands is about working very hard to keep all these ten sticks going up the hill. No one can help. These are ten things in her life that she has to look after. Exhausting. She'd never make it. It was highly, highly unlikely that she would make it to the end of nursing school. In terms of medical school, there was a medical school in the Caribbean who had expressed interest in bringing her in as a student. Um, they wanted to get her started on the interview process next week. And um, would she, would this be a right direction for her? Came up the Ten of Swords. And you can see the similarity between the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is like the war is over, it's exhausting, um, and it's, although described as not a death card, it certainly is a card that indicates, thank heavens the war is over, and feeling betrayed. So I said, were you to go to medical school? That's very likely how you'd feel. So that's another direction that you would be highly unlikely to complete and if you did I'd be surprised if you had the energy to even launch a practice so I said I know so the whole medical option was viewed to be by the cards not advisable so she said another option she had been considering is simply returning to her uh, work for the government. It was a cushy job, as she had described it. And that came up the Queen of Cups. So I said, of 
your options that you've addressed so far, the Queen of Cups would suggest going back to your cushy job in the government, highly recommended. You would feel fulfilled, you would be emotionally um, content and relaxed, um, it would also afford you uh, time to spend with your child and to explore other interests, um, other creative endeavors, um, but it, it certainly would suggest that this is something that you could do right through to retirement. So we switched topics <clears throat> at that point and what she wanted to look at was uh, her health. And she said she'd had some pain in her joints and she wondered if this was going to be chronic or if, if there was a fix for it. Now, it came up the Seven of Swords for what's going on. And I said, the Seven of Swords is about sneaking into the enemy camp the night before to disarm them so that the weapons couldn't be used against you tomorrow. Basically, it's a bad plan. Um, it's also suggestive of... Um, sneaking around. So I said so far uh, this card is suggesting that the ways in which you're approaching the problem is not a good plan. I said maybe look at alternate med medical practitioners if you have a like a naturopathic doctor, um, a nutritionist, um, but you, you need to approach it from a different direction than um, standard medical practice or in conjunction with as well. But I said so far you haven't, the cards are saying you haven't got an appropriate diagnosis yet. So don't be discouraged or encouraged. Um, we're, we're nowhere near kind of getting, <clears throat> hitting the target. So she said something else she'd been thinking about was having a baby. She was turning 40 soon and felt that this was something she was going to need to do um, if she was going to do it at all, time was kind of getting to be of the essence. And that came up the Nine of Pentacles. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles is indeed a great card for nine. Pentacles is Earth and Nine is a lot. So indeed it, it is a pregnancy card. Nine. Nine months to a baby being born. And I said, I think you will have success. Uh, with this and uh, the baby will be brought to successful term and she said and what about my health will my health hold up or would this put too much stress on my health and I that answered the four of pentacles which is security solidity you know four fours are the number of manifestation and pentacles are you know really solid so I said in fact a pregnancy would not put undue stress on your body and would not have any impact on um, the issue that is now um, plaguing your good health. So no reason not to go ahead with a pregnancy. Maybe a very good timing for you and it doesn't look like it's going to be a difficult. Um, you're not going to have a, a, a long wait to get pregnant and your pregnancy will be successful, the baby will be healthy. Uh, there's looks like at this point there's no reason not to pursue this option. So thank you once again for joining me here today. I've enjoyed describing this reading for you. Um, if you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel below, click the notification bell <clears throat> that will um, send notifications in your email that I've uploaded a new video. I look forward to seeing you again here soon. Thank you once again for joining me. Bye for now.